Welcome back to Yes Please Perth. Another night of fringes upon us. We've got Elaine here, but before we introduce her, it's time to sell your show, Elaine. Camera's there, 10 seconds. Whenever you're ready. Please come and see Gusset Clippers. Um, it's a show about your pelvic floor, which is much funnier than it sounds. Um, you'll leave knowing what an orgasm is and how to have a better one. Whoa, okay, that was perfectly 10 seconds. Well done. How has this become a fringe show? Um, I'm a fanny physio, which I'm not supposed to call it fanny physio, I'm supposed to say it's pelvic health physio, but you know what, oh, yeah. people have problems with their muscles up their bits and I fix them. And nobody wants to come to clinic because usually having problems with your conscience or sexual dysfunctions are embarrassing. And I had a hobby of doing stand-up and decided, I was a bit tipsy to be honest, I'll combine the two and I wrote a show for the Edinburgh Fringe because I stay in Edinburgh. Yes. And they don't have any sort of addition process to let any lunatic into the Fringe. <laughs> so You're qualified in pelvic health. Yeah. How long did that take? Why did you study that? Um, so I'm a physio, so you, have, you do a degree. And I used to work in sports medicine. I, had a, I did a postgrad in sports, which was a good job because you have to travel the world with young fit men in Lyca <laughs> and they pay you to touch them, it was a smashing. Yeah, I'm sure. But then I had um, three kids in four years, and after that, the science of conscience became fascinating. Right. Because it's really common, so it's one in three women wet themselves, and it's about one in nine men. Okay. Um, and if they do the pelvic floor exercises, then they get better, about 60% of them get better. Okay. So, but trying to get people to engage in that is really difficult, so, so I thought, let's make it funny. I think it's niche, but it's a really big niche, so it got five stars in Edinburgh Fringe, and sold out and I have a sellout day in Perth Correct. already so I'm kind of chuffed. So let's talk about the show. You've got some props here yes. which is very exciting. Talk us through what you're bringing to the show. Um, so I talk about the anatomy and about why your bits do what they do mm -hmm. and one of the things that I spend a great deal of time on is the clitoris because nobody knows that this is what and it was an Australian woman that mapped the clitoris so you should all be really up to speed with it. Great Australian discovery. 1994 right. they did this. 1994. Yeah, it's not long That's ago. That's shocking. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's got legs. So there's a wee bobbly bit that you'll know about, and then it's got these legs that go two go down the labia and two go round the vagina. So whatever's in there gets a wee hug. Honestly, there's a lot going on here that I'm in, <laughs> in, enthused about. Okay. <laughs> What is uh, what is this specifically? What's going on here? Um, this is my vulva puppet. Okay. Um, because some people don't know where the clitoris is. Mm. Now I know that you won't be one of those. So you have to demonstrate it that it's above the. <clears throat> so I've got some. I think it's like brocade outer labia, yeah. short silk inner labia. True to life. Vagina that you can put stuff in and the clitoral hood, which is important to understand because it's dead tickly. It's got 8,000 nerve endings on the bobbly bit of a clitoris, whereas a willy only has um, 4,000. Do you get a lot of um, jest with this concept? Do you know what's funny is most of the time people just sit there going, I did not know that, which bothers me because we should be including this in sex ed. Got it. People should know about their basic functions. Yeah, absolutely. So. <laughs> Elaine, do you have um, any pelvic floor exercises that I could demonstrate to help the yes. people of Perth? Yes, that would be wonderful, especially for men, because pelvic floor exercises can cure premature ejaculation in three months, and it makes um, it can help erectile dysfunction. There so you go. Men like having a willy that's stronger for longer. Sounds like a worthy cause. All right, so what are we doing? So you have to take a deep breath in and sigh out, <sighs> and then imagine you're trying to hold in a fart and hold it for 10, 9, 8, but keep breathing because if you hold your breath you're cheating. I know it's a bit tricky. And then relax and it should go Poof. Oh yeah, I do feel it. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then you have to go, oh I'm going to fart. Oh no, it's okay. It's going away. Oh, it's going to be horrible. Oh, it's oh so it's an ongoing away. thing. Oh, 10 in a row. Okay. So if you do a hold for a count of 10 and 10 quick flicks, three times a day for three months, then 60% of people will stop wetting themselves when they laugh and cough and sneeze, and your willy will be even more amazing than I'm sure it already is. Thank you so much, Elaine. So, Elaine, you're hoping to see some fringe shows. Yes. What sort of things are you recommending? Well, I've just met this lady, Robin Perkins. Yeah, there you go. She's doing a show about the science of dating and about honesty using Tinder, which sounds really interesting. Yeah. Um, and there's a chap that's doing a show about um, about CBT, about he's a psychologist looking at using CBT. So right. I'm really interested in um, shows that have got like evidence behind them because I need to learn. Absolutely. 
You can catch Elaine at uh, Gusset Grippers is the show. Fifth to the ninth at Lazy Susan's. Already sold out on one of the dates, so get in quick. Elaine, thank you for bringing the, the news to the masses, and thanks for joining <laughs> us on Nights at Fringe. Thanks for having me on. Lovely work. Thank you.